All right, okay, hello and good morning, everybody. Hi, this is me, Larios Nonchaskas from Easy Markets, and this is the quick daily pitch international breaking moment, uh, breaking news. Um, look, I wanted to quickly pick up on a on a piece of information that um, the US CPIs are today overshadowing, you know, another piece of information. So that's the crude oil inventories that are coming out. Look, um, it's quite important because we are seeing oil continuing to slide and uh, I think there's going to be a huge factor, of course, also in the CPIs. Um, but all about that in a bit. Before we jump uh, further, we go into all that, we need to quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So yes, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendations and should not be considered as such. This material should not be taken as an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. Um, look, so uh, like I said, with the, the situation with oil um, is quite tricky. Um, oh, by the way, also before we jump into the charts, uh, just a quick uh, mentioning of our Easy Markets website, which you can always check out for more information about us. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist. Look, and now we can jump into oil. So look, uh, very quickly. So as you can see, uh, yesterday we had a nice, nice decline here. I mean, for the, the bears are we're probably very happy. Uh, me, I've been an advocate of the downside for quite a while now. And uh, yes, so far, so good. Um, I talked a lot about oil and I keep on talking a lot about oil in my morning webinars, which, can, which you can check out uh, on our YouTube channel, Daily Picture International. Um, those are live, so yes, Feel free to subscribe and join uh, to join the sessions, live sessions, uh, or you can always watch the recorded session as well. But look, um, the situation with oil right now. Um, if we look at the economic calendar and we take a look at the um, the data that is expected to come out, so basically going from a minus six point eight seven three million all the way to plus zero point nine million. I mean, in in stock change, that's that's not good in general for the bulls because this is showing an increase in the stockpile and uh, basically uh, this will have you want it or not it it will have its pressure uh, downside pressure on the price um, of course there are some reports coming out saying that uh, we're gonna uh, Libya is uh, might re-enter the market again will uh, might produce uh, oil so yes uh, this is also something that uh, it might also play negatively in terms of price so further declines in a way are possible so look Today, of course, as I said, US CPIs are taking the spotlight, but um, one thing actually what refer, what uh, touches on a little bit on the, the on oil is the fact that uh, US CPI, the headline ex, uh, CPI is expected to decline at, from 2.9 to 2.6. However, the core is expected to remain roughly the same. Why there's such a big difference? It's mainly because of oil, because as we know, oil has been on a decline for quite a while since like uh, since the end of August. And look at this. I mean, it is just and actually since the end of August. That's, I'm talking about a sharper decline. It has been declining for quite a while now, after it peaked in uh, in April of 2024, this year. So, yes, we have been on a decline. I mean, after reaching that 87 in, a, uh, in the point six area, um, Yes, it's, we are now basically traveling further south. We're clearing all the support areas. And look at this. We cleared the low of December of 2023. Uh, again, we stayed below it. To be honest, now what I'm targeting here is that 63.66. That is, of course, if we continue to get these um, news, which are, first of all, uh, we're seeing an increase in the stockpiles, in the inventories. Then we're seeing Libya trying to in enter the market again. So basically providing more oil into the market. But the only thing is that uh, demand right now is kind of on the lower side. And, and countries like uh, China, um, and let me just jump into Monday's number here, uh, when China released its inflation numbers together with the PPI. So basically we're seeing a bit of a slowdown here in the PPI. And, uh, and basically that means in general slowdown in growth. So China is not taking in that much oil. It doesn't need it, but we keep on piling up. Now, of course, everybody on everybody's mind is what will OPEC do in that case? You know, will they actually somehow limit 
mm, the production, but at the moment it kind of seems that uh, everybody's sticking. All the countries are sticking to what they're, you know, what they're doing right now. And the question is, how far can we, you know, bring oil to the downside? Look. I'm very uh, interested in seeing this uh, lowest point of 2023, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Yes, the lowest point of 2023, roughly around the 63.66 zone-ish. If somehow that will get cleared, well, this is basically opening the door to much lower levels here, maybe going into the 50s. But, um, of course, the question becomes like how... Um, how good is it for the uh, countries to continue having the uh, or the oil producers to continue having oil at you know b below for example sixty dollars? In my opinion, that's not the best option for them. However, look. Um, However, maybe there, you know, this way we can boost a little bit growth with lower lower oil. Uh, so that's the kind of the 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 a risky game that maybe everybody's playing. So you we're seeing a drop in demand. Okay, maybe if oil goes further down, maybe this could actually boost more demand. Um, so basically, you're you know you're you're covering yourself with the gains that you did before when oil was much much higher. Now you're allowed the market given that given that you're seeing a slowdown now you're giving the market cheaper oil in order to kind of maybe boost you know that production again again theory we'll see if that works out eventually because again it's a very um, tricky part because if if the market starts seeing uh, a sharp drop in oil the market might actually panic and say hey just production is not happening and you know what we need to get out of the stock market and we need to start selling so again there's as always the stick with two ends um, on one hand maybe you know you're trying to do good but on the other hand um, it might backfire uh, very very quickly so maybe that's why we're not seeing like strong declines in oil it's like a gradual decline so allowing the market to adjust here and there but again Coming back to the top, uh, coming to the points uh, which I mentioned in the beginning of this video, that uh, we are currently experiencing a bit of a, a difficult situation here for the oil bulls, uh, because again, uh, if we are looking at inventories today, uh, those are expected to come out um, in the positive territory. So, if by any chance they still they come out below forecast hey maybe we could see a bit of a rebound here a larger rebound for for oil uh, because of today we're right now at this as we speak as i speak um we're seeing a bit of a correction but hey um for now i mean this could still be the case and to be honest in general if i just go purely from the technical perspective i'm leaning towards the downside and today's inflation keep your eyes on the u.s inflation if that one uh, continues to slide, uh, or should I say, uh, if the headline continues to slide, if the headline, for example, comes out even uh, lower than the forecast, well, this could play out negatively, in my opinion, for U.S. oil, and we could see this one uh, drifting also uh, to the downside. Again, this is a bit of a tricky moment because you would say that the dollar could fall, and you know, this way we could boost. Um, boost uh, the uh, oil price back up but again like i said i think that it, it would go in it would go from the perspective of uh, demand it would go from the perspective of just global growth so um like i said we'll see how uh, how this is going to play out if the headline inflation drops further south i think in this case i mean again uh, maybe somebody doesn't agree with me but in this case maybe like i said it would be an indication that we're seeing a drop in U.S. growth. Uh, so yes, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, certainly, keep your eyes on the numbers today. Um, apart from the, like I said, the U.S. In inflation number, keep your eyes on the crude oil because if you are trading oil, this is something that you need to keep an eye on. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This was, was the quick take on my side on the crude oil inventories today. So yes, hopefully you found it useful. Please do subscribe, like, and share, and follow, and everything. All that shebang, the you know the usual thing. But um, thank you very much. I I'll see you later next time with more of these little uh, breaking news intakes. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you like it or not. And uh, we'll go from there. So thank you very much. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.